Assalamu alaikum guys welcome to another video and uh, in this video I am here with the Oxygen OS 7 for our Redmi 5 as you can see here and it is showing device name OnePlus 7 and uh, as you can see here it is working on the Android 10 the ROM is pretty stable and working good so in this video I will show you a full review of this ROM plus I will also show you how you can install it on your Redmi 5 so without any further ado let's get started let's dig into the video first of all let me tell you uh, all the bugs and issues in this room the dpi of this room cannot be fixed uh, but uh, still this room is working good with the bigger some things are really bigger and weird but still you can use this room and uh, then you can also cannot use the three button navigation bar every time you have to use the uh, navigation gesture except this uh, issues everything is just working fine as you can see here even the screen recorder is also working mobile data bluetooth hotspot wi-fi every single thing is working fine the overall performance of this room is also good and the gaming performance uh, i have not tried any game on this room so you can try it by yourself and in the launcher we have this pixel launcher with some settings like double tap to look and some other settings and after it we have the widgets and wallpapers in the wallpaper we only have wall, wall, one wallpaper you can install amazing live wallpaper by watching my previous videos and uh, uh, this wallpaper looks really amazing if you want this live wallpaper comment below and in the home screen we have a shortcut to open up the google assistant and here we also have the fingerprint animation but they are not working because we don't have in screen fingerprint scanner and in the camera we don't have any camera uh, like we don't have the oneplus camera you have to install any third party camera like gcam you can install any camera from the link in the description the app opening speed of this room is also good uh, on the first boot it will be a little bit laggy but on the second boot it will be uh, normal now let's dig into the settings in the setting first of all we have the search bar then we have some notifications and then we have network P PHH treble settings then we have Wi-Fi and network Bluetooth and device connection then we have display and the display first of all we have the adaptive brightness option then we have the brightness level then we have the option of sleep and the screen collaboration from this screen collaboration you can switch between uh, three different profiles first one is the vivid natural and then we have the advanced from the advanced you can change the different colors like amoled srgb and you can also change the advanced settings then we have the notch display uh, do not mess with this because we don't have the notch then we have the full screen application then we have night mode which is working fine you can change the color temperature you can also play with the lightness it is working fine then we have the reading mode and you can also change its effect like chromatic effect or you can also use the mono effect then we have the video enhancer it will be helpful helpful to enhance the video quality on this room then we have the ambient display here we don't have always on display and uh, then we have phone size and display size do not change any of this because it will uh, change your dpi then uh, it will create a problem for you then you can change the battery style and battery percentage network indicator and then we have the battery saver then we have the customizations from the customization you can change the preset theme like vibrant tint and illustrating theme or you can also use the dark theme i am switching to dark theme let's see how it will look and as you can see here the dark theme is 
uh, looking really amazing and from here you can change the wallpaper and from here you can change the cloak style because it is not working then do not change it and from here you can change the fingerprint effect because we don't have the in screen fingerprint uh, scanner so we can't use it use it then we have the accent color from here you can change the accent color for your theme then we have the option of tone from here you can change between colorful light or dark i am going to use the colorful one then we have the system icons from here you can change the shape of system icons and then you can also apply any icon pack and after it we have the phone style here we have only two phone sizes first one is the roboto and second one is the oneplus states and, and after it we have the sound and vibration from here you, you can adjust the ring volume media volume and alarm volume the sound quality of this room is also good and here we also have the pre-installed dolby atmos you can switch between different profile then we have do not disturb mode and earphone mode after it you can change the phone ringtone and vibration you can also change the vibration uh, effect then we have the sms ringtone and vibration then we have notification sound then we have system sounds like touch sound and dial paint sound you can also enable the touch vibration and you can also change its frequency after it we have button and gesture settings from here you can enable the alert slider i don't know what is this so here we have some option like silent vibration and ring then we have navigation and and gestures from here if you want to use the home screen and recent three button navigation bar then it will never work good because as you can see here the layout of uh, three button navigation bar is not good the dpi is too big as you can see here uh, once you uh, enable the three button navigation bar uh, you need to reboot your device then you can change it to gesture settings now i am going to reboot my device After rebooting your device, go to settings, navigation bar and gestures and from here just select any uh, like any navigation gesture like with the left and right back buttons and with this uh, pill button you can also hide the navigation bottom bar and then you can also use the navigation bar with bottom buttons like uh, from the center you can go back. Uh, go to home and from the left and right you can go simply back so just use these gestures instead of three button navigation after after it we have some other gestures like in the quick gestures we have some gesture like flip to mute and three finger screenshot uh, rise to answer switch and double tap to wake music control and some other gestures which are not working so after it we have some quick turn on camera and uh, quick activate the assistant app gesture after it we have the apps and notification from here you can manage all the notification and screen out, screen out time and default application app of permissions and some other settings then we have privacy security in the security the fingerprint of this device is working good as you can see here it is unlocking the device quickly and uh, here we also have the option of add face unlock but it is not working i don't know why and in the smart lock we oh, don't have any uh, facility to add our face to unlock the device then we have location battery in the battery the battery performance of this room is also uh, good it is not so perfect 
so you can also enable the battery saver and battery optimization accounts detail will be in google and utilities in these utilities we have quick launch parallel apps app locker and schedule power of on oneplus library and quick reply in landscape then we have system in the system we have accessibility date uh, languages and input date and time backup reset options odg storage experience improvement programs multiple users ram booster and developer options then we have the about phone from here you can check this is a port from the oneplus 7 and 800 version is 10 as you can see here you can also check your device specifications like have 3 gb of ram plus 32 gb of ram and then you, you can check the android version is 10 its security patch is first march 2020 and uh, i hope you can not install any custom kernel in this rom so stay with the stock kernel so the rom is pretty stable and you can also test this rom if you want and you can also use it for daily driver if you uh, want to use it so now let's move to the installation of this rom so first of all download the zip file of the oxygen os 7 and flame g apps basic edition from the link in the description then reboot your device into installed custom recovery the preferred recovery is xdol twrp recovery as you can see here i am also using this recovery I recommend you to always use this recovery because it is pretty stable then go to wipe click on advanced wipe and from here wipe everything except the internal storage in SD card now select every option and do not select internal storage and SD card simply wipe from here I am not wiping because I already installed this ROM now go to install and locate your downloaded ROM as you can see here we have it oxygen OS just flash it and then go back and now flash the downloaded flame gf's basic edition flash it too and then go to reboot and reboot your device as system it will take a little bit time on first boot and it will be laggy on the first boot uh, don't worry just reboot your device and it will be normal on second boot now as you can see here we have and the beautiful animation from the oneplus devices on our redmi 5 the developer did really amazing work in this room i really appreciate it now you have successfully installed this room on your redmi 5 there are a few things that you have to do after installing this ROM. Uh, first of all, just go into the settings. Go to gesture, uh, navigation bar and gesture. Button and gesture, then go to navigation bar and gesture. And from here, just switch to any navigation gesture. Do not use the back home recent three button navigation bar. After doing this, go to about phone and uh, tap on the build number 7 times till it shows now you are a developer. Then go back, go to system and go to developer options and just scroll down and find smallest with that. And set the DPI to 395 or 385. As you can see here you can exact follow my value then click on ok it will help you to fix some dpa options uh, but you can not fix this type of issues so after it just download the google dialer app uh, google phone app from the apk file from the link in the description and install it like normal apk then go to apps and notification go to default app and set it as default phone app and now this room is fully ready to use so hope you like this video if you really did 
hit the like button if you really appreciate my work don't forget to subscribe my channel also follow me on instagram i really need your support thanks for watching peace